Hi there, this is Allie. I'm the other half from Mike and Allie's Vintage Channel here on YouTube. We are new to YouTube, and so we've got quite a, a really, a learning curve with YouTube. So if you'd show us some grace and make sure you subscribe and hit the notification uh, bell below so you can see our upcoming videos. Uh, whoo, boy, it is something to learn how to do this. So, but we'll get it because you can teach old dogs new tricks. Don't you know that? <laughs> Anyway, Mike and I are husband and wife team, and we are full-time resellers on eBay is where we started, and then we moved over to Etsy. I like to sell a lot of my home decor over on Etsy, and, and have um, we're building a following there. So I wanted to show you what I have today in this haul, and I hope that you enjoy it. Just to tell you briefly, uh, my husband, if, if you have a husband or yourself, if you enjoy model railroading, he, he offers a lot of trains and model railroading pieces. Uh, he has had a passion since he was a young boy with trains. And also, um, he, he has a degree in radio broadcasting and a background in radio broadcasting. So he knows quite a bit about music and has a huge LP collection bigger than I care for it to be. But anyway, he does offer uh, vinyl albums and 45s in our stores of unique vintage music. And the other thing that he likes to collect is farm memorabilia. And we have sold a lot of that internationally to my surprise. Very interesting. I don't know why. <laughs> but anyway, like farm implement brochures, sales brochures. So my thing is uh, French decor. I absolutely love it. I love that old world style. Uh, I hope this trend doesn't go away. I'm just crazy about it. I love watching Stephanie from the Chateau, Di Chateau Diaries videos that she produces on YouTube. Uh, I love to watch um, Parisian farm girl, you know, Angela, and what she does there in her home for that old world style. I mean, there's so many that I absolutely love. You might want to add, uh, tell me, what do you watch on YouTube having to do with French or old world style? I'm always looking for a new YouTuber, but... Um, I'm absolutely crazy about it. We do. We have sold some things mid-century modern. Um, that has been such a hot trend for a long time now. But those items are getting fewer and harder to find for us. But I want to offer these things to you. And that way you can um, enjoy them, get them brought. You know, when you're looking for something specific for your home, a particular look... A particular style, either very rustic, very French provincial, um, you know, or a coastal look, you know, like south of France. Um, so there's there's a lot of people that are looking for a specific style in their home, and it allows me to kind of pretend like I'm interior designer and I'm finding these wonderful pieces for you. Now this video will be more inexpensive um, items that I have found recently, and uh, we've sold some of our bigger items that my French items usually sell fairly quickly, uh, just to give you a heads up. But anyway. We're going to get on with things here. So this is a bottle that I have with a French label on it. Don't you love these old pharmacy bottles? It's the thick glass. There's the bottom of it. And the words are in French. In French. I don't think it's going to quite focus. I apologize for that. Uh, the other things that I have for you in that area of French is from Old World Market. Don't you just love Old World Market? They do have some really unique things. And here's some uh, salad plates. So this is about seven, eight inches across. I would say a seven inch salad plate, which a French theme. These are a fairly thick plates. I have three of those. Um, also, I wanted to show you, this is a, uh, I guess that you could call this a fruit bowl or a little salad bowl. And this is uh, Marimont uh, Royal Duton. And I absolutely love this pattern. It is grapes, strawberries, and it is um, pears. 
I just think it's just absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Let me show you the bottom. Okay, the next thing that I have, some pieces from Italy. This is glass made in Italy. This is a canister. Look at the angle of this. Now, normally this would have a cork lid to it, and I do not have that. And this is green glass. And hopefully you can see where it says made in Italy there. There we go. Isn't that interesting, this scalloped shape? I just love this look. So this is a good size. It's a, it's, it's a canister. It was a canister set, part of a canister set. But yeah, it's such unique bottles. I love those unique bottles. Anyway, this is also made in Italy. This is a tile that I found of an eggplant. There's the back of it. It does not have a hook or a way to be hung up on the wall. You would have to figure that out or have that out. And also from Italy, I have this uh, small teacup. There's the inside. I think the pattern is just absolutely precious. And there's the bottom. Yeah. Okay. I have uh, five cups from Euro Ceramica. And these have kind of that um, Italian, Tuscan, I guess, Italian look to them. But I just thought the pattern was really bold, dramatic, and lovely. So I have, there's the inside, that gorgeous turquoise. So I have five of these cups. And what else do I have for you? I have I got this mug um, because I just thought the pattern was lovely. But if you've ever been to Florence, Italy, you might or Tuscany area, you might like to have a mug for a keepsake kind of thing. Also, I have some more mugs. I have to say, I really am into coffee mugs. I like the tall ones. I don't know what you like. You can tell me below. Everybody has their thing. But I like the tall mugs. And I used to be able to find them. And now, everybody else must be liking them too. <laughs> because I haven't been able to find very many tall mugs. Um, so neat. One lady, I found one of the tall mugs with similar colors like this. And it had the beautiful Tuscan uh, sunflower pattern on it. And the lady sent me such a nice note. She was from California. She said, I have looked for two years to find this coffee mug. Thank you for listing it on eBay for me to get it. So she was just so delighted. And I can't tell you how many times we've had the nicest letters sent back to us. You know, these are my favorite shoes. They're discontinued. Thank you for listing these on there. Um, we don't do a lot of clothes or shoes, but we did for a while. And uh, there's other, we just had someone purchase a, a vintage book and they said, oh, thank you so much. I've been looking for this book. Thank you for finding it, you know, and listing it on eBay. So it's wonderful to be able to help people out when they're looking for something specific and it's no longer a continued item, or you have a dish pattern that's your favorite and you break a dish, but you can't get it replaced. So I love that fact. I love the community and the service it provides for people. Now this next coffee cup I wanna show you is called Rolling Hills, and the pattern is from an artist, uh, Warren Kimball, and it is a primitive pattern or folk art, but it, to me it is more colonial period. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. And it has inside a little picture of the houses right there. It is, I don't know you guys, 
like I said, this is uphill. We don't have those expensive family, fa uh, fancy cameras to get this to zoom in, and you have to wait so long to get it to do it. So I apologize. Okay, but <laughs> we'll move on. Such is life. Nothing, nothing really works out the way you want it to. Um, I, I just found this inexpensive bottle, milk bottle, reproduction, Fresh Farm. It says tools on there, Fresh Farm brand tools. Uh, I just thought it was cute. It is like stoneware, glazed stoneware. But a lot of people like still like that French uh, country and also the farmhouse trend. So wanted to show you that. I have that's vintage from Cracker Barrel, this cute owl. Look at that. How adorable is that? It's kind of that harvest gold look, you know, that was so popular in the 70s. Oh my goodness. I just love him. He, Cracker Barrel, how about that? <laughs> Fun stuff. Also, I have uh, salt and pepper shakers. These are Tracy Taylor. Nope, it's not going to do it. It's just not going to do it. Anyway, here are the salt shakers. These bunkies right here underneath these huge flowers. Oh my gosh, I just thought these were adorable. Now these are from the 90s, so not really vintage, but if you have and if you were doing an exotic theme in your home, I just thought these would be adorable for that type of, you know, exotic animals. Like if you do botanicals, um, that would just be adorable. Out of the mid-century modern, I have this picture here. It's a, it's a beautiful gray color that you would see during that time period. This does have, if you see that white line right there, goes right through there, you can feel it just a little bit. It has a crack there. The weird thing is, is it's absolutely, you can hardly see it on the inside. What was I gonna say? I forgot what I was gonna say. But anyway, we've reduced the price because there is a crack in this. But if you're looking for that sleek design for mid-century modern kitchen, there you go. Nobody ever know it's cracked. I uh, have a vintage Victorian style purse. The other side's brown. And this was made in Italy. See right there. Got that at a state sale. I love that. Another mug that I have is Cote d'Azur. And this is uh, from different has you know like a different areas cities in France there might be somebody who wants that type of thing in their kitchen love it love it also what else do I have for you I want to show you today I have an English bouquet Johnson Brothers of England don't you love Johnson Brothers I love Johnson Brothers china look at this has this lovely scalloped edge on here beautiful pattern so this is a saucer i don't do a lot of dishes they are difficult to ship but i find some pieces you know individual pieces that i like to offer so now I'm gonna to jump to some other things. I have this wonderful, this is like crystal glass bird right here. I love it. And I can't read the bottom of it. We have it in the listing and I've forgotten what it is. Blue glass, this is a bunny. That cute little rabbit. I love, I love, love, love rabbits. And this is Charming Tales. Now, this is not an old world style or anything like that, but I just fell in love with these little two characters. And a lot of people love to collect these, so I thought I would just show these to you. Aren't those precious? 
And I have a listing that has three, a lot of three items in it. I have some French decor here. Here is a necklace holder. And here's the third piece. It's a hook. It has five hooks on it with the Eiffel Tower. So those three are together as a set. I have another tile and it does have a hanger on it. And what else do I have for you? I have a um, piece of pottery. This is North Carolina pottery. About four inches tall, I would say. This was purchased here in North Carolina, where I'm from. Beautiful piece. A little vase. And also, I have for you these uh, tapestry pieces. There's the back fabric. I have three of them. Here's another one with the dogwoods. That's beautiful. Love that pink. So there's three of these needlepoint pieces. And I wanted to show you some um, books that are just enjoyable reads that I really liked. And uh, two of them are from the author Elizabeth Bard, or Baird, Bard, I believe. Have you read Lunch in Paris and Picnic in Provence? Um, the neat thing about her books, she has recipes that are dispersed in, in here. Uh, the recipes look wonderful. She has an index to the recipes in the back. So what do you have to know about me? I'm an artist. I'm really not much of a reader. I do read once in a while, but um, I have a family that they're huge readers. It is difficult for me to get started in a book and keep my interest. That's my problem. <laughs> but these are the two books that once I started, they kept my interest out of all I've tried. <laughs> so I have those two. I, I absolutely love these. I wish she would write some more. I don't think that she is, but it was about her lifestyle. Um, as an American and marrying some, you know, marrying someone from France and living there, uh, the culture, what it was like for her. I loved it. I just loved those two books. Anyway, now I know probably every this is everyone's read this, but uh, French women don't get fat. <laughs> oh, I love that book. I thought that was informative too with recipes. I have. Uh, Two of his books, Peter Mail, my oops, French Lessons, and A Year in Provence. Now these again, I don't know if it's just the subject matter, his experiences um, in France, and people that he met, the food that he ate, and these keep my attention. Love these two books. I also have um, what I want to show you. This one was How to Be a Parisian Wherever You Are, Love Style and Bad Habits. This one's a little saucy <laughs> for my taste, but it was a good book. Good. It's funny, entertaining. And have you read Little French Bistro? I just love these kind of books. So, uh, Nina George, and she came out with the Little Paris uh, Bookshop. I think I have that one too, but not right here with me. 
So those are the books that I wanted to show you that I have enjoyed, which saying that again is something for me. I have a set of bookends here. These are monkeys. I just fell in love with these little guys. I would say they're about five inches tall. They're fairly weighted. I have the felt on the bottom. But um, this is how they would look. I love these guys. Aren't they cool? <laughs> Oh, one other thing I want to show you back here is this is a vintage print that I got at a state sale. Now these, this is aged, no doubt. You can see, came from a very old home. But some people like that very aged look, you know, give it things some character. Now everything you see here in the background on the move, the planner on the wall is very rustic. So it says fleur on there. And also I have this lovely um, embroidered sampler. The top of it has a pineapple. I've had a lot of interest in that piece. And I'm going to see if I can zoom up a little bit. Oh, I can't do it. And then this is a candlestick holder right here with the fleur-de-lis on it. I also have this lamp, this green wicker lamp right here for sale. I haven't listed this planter. It has an old world style to it also. So those are a few things that I have available in our eBay and Etsy store. Thank you for stopping by our channel. And tell me what you watch on YouTube with old world and French decor, you know. It'd be interesting to hear uh, any new YouTubers that you know of that I'm not aware of. So thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope you come back to see our next video. Bye-bye.